Earth and Architecture, has something, for everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Isle of Knowledge. In today's video, we'll look at how Earth and architecture can assist us to address some of the world's most pressing environmental, social, and economic issues. Concrete buildings account for approximately 7% of global carbon dioxide emissions, significantly more than the aviation industry which accounts for 2.5%. Every year, 4 billion tons of cement, a key component of concrete, are produced worldwide. When you factor in the carbon emissions produced during the manufacturing of concrete, metal, and other building materials, as well as the construction process itself, it's clear that Housing has a significant role to play, if the world is to meet its goal of reducing global carbon emissions to net zero, by 2050. But how about, if there is a cheap, readily available building material, that is also environmentally friendly? In fact, there is. Simply look down, you're standing on it. Earth. Mud has a long, and illustrious history. It is used to build, some of the world's most enduring, and extraordinary structures. The use of soil as a building material, varies from culture to culture, and region to region. Mud has been used, to build, the 1,000-year-old Xars, in Morocco, the Pueblos, of New Mexico, sections of the Great Wall of China, the majority of the Indus Valley civilization, and the 6,000-year-old arches, vaults, and domes in the Nile Valley. Adobe houses with multiple stories, are common, throughout Latin America. UN estimates that, 30% of the world's population, live in earthen houses. Earth remains a popular building material, in many parts of Africa, Asia, and Central, and South America. Mud, is the future of sustainable construction. It is the only material, that we can recycle as many times as we want, without using any energy. The more you use it, the better it gets. It's similar to working with dough, in that the material changes and responds, as you work with it. So, Earth and Architecture, is all about reducing carbon footprint? That is not correct. The truth is that, there are numerous other advantages, to Earth and Architecture. Here are a few examples. One of the well-known benefits is, thermal insulation. Have you ever wondered, why mud houses always have, comfortable temperatures, no matter the season? The reason is, mud walls, have a high thermal mass. They slowly absorb, and store heat, preventing the house from becoming too hot, or too cold. Because of the high thermal mass, the inside temperature will be lower, on hot days, while the mud walls will keep you warm, in the winter. This reduces the need for air conditioners, and refrigerants in the summer, and heaters in the winter. It maintains, a relatively constant interior temperature. In comparison to buildings made of concrete, or corrugated metal, mud brick buildings maintain, relatively stable interior temperatures over a 24-hour period, providing far superior thermal comfort to residents. 
The thick mud brick walls also help to muffle noise coming from the outside of the neighboring house, which is an additional advantage. Breathable nature adds more value to that list. We say that these houses breathe because the earth can take in extra moisture from the air and let it out if necessary. Mud's breathable nature has additional benefits. Because mud is porous, moisture can enter the home and enhance the quality of the air inside. They are healthy structures that have skin that can withstand extremes of heat and cold and breathe similarly to us. They are sturdy against heat waves, floods, and droughts. Mud structures are also remarkably strong and resistant to extreme weather, such as heat waves, floods, and droughts, which scientists predict will become more frequent and intense as temperatures rise due to global warming. Unlike concrete or cement, earthen architecture can withstand extreme events such as earthquakes and high winds due to its structure's ability to distribute the force that it faces on its surface. They are recyclable. While recycling has become a buzzword for environmental preservation, mud houses have been doing the same so quietly for centuries. Mud houses are recyclable or reusable after being disassembled and will cause no reminiscent damage to the lands they occupy. Mud is reusable and if broken down, it can easily return to nature. Adobe houses are cost effective too. This eco-friendly feature also reduces overall construction costs. Mud or clay tiles can be obtained at reasonable prices due to their abundance. Because it is a locally available material, it reduces or mitigates transportation costs. In general, it is estimated that mud reduces overall construction costs by up to 30%. So, this is a good option for your budget. Unfortunately, earthen architecture is not perfect, which has led to widespread skepticism about its efficacy. Yes, there are some drawbacks too. They require more care and maintenance, and they may release a musty odor soon after completion. The structure's durability will be an issue if the mud is decaying organic materials like leaves and plants. Mud structures, however, do not quickly deteriorate if they are properly maintained. Ignorance of long-established mud building techniques has largely contributed to most of the skepticism. Despite the fact that people have been building mud houses for thousands of years, the technology is still in its early stages and is not widely known. According to the experts, upgrading mud to a high-performance building material is not a difficult process. Many of the disadvantages associated with mud building could be eliminated by the development of stabilization techniques, such as adding cement to mud. Furthermore, termites and rodents are less likely to attack stabilized mud blocks. So, are we already late to have a serious look at earth and architecture? Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing which means a lot to me. I love to see your thoughts in the comment section.